insecurity something that can really hurt us mentally. And when you go to the gym, you're trying to get in shape physically and it also helps mentally and emotionally. It's very therapeutic to have some form of exercise. But one thing I noticed in the gym that could be very negative towards your health is looking at the mirror at your insecurities or imperfections. As an example, I'll take myself. I look in the mirror, okay, and not when I have my clothes, I go, I go in the uh, men's room, and I say, oh my God, I got a wide ass and a little bit of a stomach. Now, I'm in my 40s, but I always had a wide ass and I always had a, a little chubbiness, uh, even though I've been very much in shape at times and period of my time where I was very skinny, wide, very little, but almost like too skinny. But I say to myself, right now, I'm right at the proper balance. I mean, I eat very healthy, very consistently. I'm always in motion. I'm, I'm working out. I'm, I'm doing very well compared to, you know, all the seasons of my life. I'm very balanced now. And the main thing is obviously your food intake. But with that being said, I still have imperfections. Part of it is just DNA, okay? Because you could work out like a madman, you could eat practically nothing, or you could eat practically everything, and I've did all those things. And your body type is a certain way. You can only kind of like fine-tune it. You know, as an example, like like if you have a Jeep, it, you can fine-tune it, but it's never going to be a Ferrari. It's just built different. So, uh, you know, we're all built a certain way, right? But you want to try to eat well and move well and exercise to a degree to be healthy so that you're suffering less. That's the sales pitch to why should you stop being a glutton, why should you get off the couch, just so that you have some level of health and that you don't suffer unnecessarily. That's my sales pitch because I've been obese, I've been damn near anorexic, and now I'm kind of at a way where I can enjoy life, enjoy some indulgences, but still be healthy enough to enjoy my life without worrying about major emergencies that I can control. So, but what I want to share with you, when you go to the gym, you know, one is you're looking at other hot people and you're looking at some but ugly people. Always make a mental note. There's some people in the gym that are worse than you and some that are better. All of us can say that. But when I go and I look in the mirror, sometimes I start to focus too much on my negatives about my body type. And that psychologically, I mean, then you feel like the worst, ugliest person in the world. And you start like trolling yourself. And so what I've learned, okay, is that it's not delusion. I mean, there's imperfections. I mean, you got to be honest with yourself. I'm honest with myself. Some people can't. But also, I know that, you know, also I got some better things than other people have. And really, I'm just, I just focus back on I'm there for my well-being and enjoy my life. And I am what I am. I mean, you know, to a certain degree, you ain't going to change who you are. I mean, you could go overseas, get plastic surgery. You could go marry someone that you want to control them financially. But guys and girls... Don't live that life. Okay. Accept yourself. Work on yourself. And if you want to be with other people that accept you and you accept each other because they're going to have their flaws too, make a mental note. Some of the most beautiful women I've dated, and some of them very beautiful, they were very insecure. Um, and I understand that. Now, I have empathy. This isn't about judgment. This is about you. This is not about other people. When you go to gym, don't stare at the mirror at your imperfections. If you can remember that, now you're improving your health. Because if you go to the gym, and I've seen some of these guys and girls do it, you go to the gym, and they're in sometimes better shape than me. You go to the gym, and you work out crazy, and you're in the mirror, and you're looking all over your body. And a lot of times, that's in the bathroom, okay? And you start, believe me, I don't care how good people look, they focus on their negative. It, it's like life. I mean, you could say 10 great things about someone. You say one wrong thing, that's all they remember. And that's what you do when you look at the mirror in the gym, you're not thinking about the 10 good things you got going on. You think about the one bad thing. Okay? And you focused on that, your wide ass or your little bit of stomach or your this or that. And what you got to do is, as long as you're doing the best you can, accept yourself. Why? Oh, shit. What are you going to do? Kill yourself? You ain't going to change. You are who you are. Okay. And if you get plastic surgery, you ain't going to look like who you are. Okay. I mean, you're going to look crazy unless you need it. If there's a deformity or you need some type of, I mean, do, you know, do whatever you want. But I want to make this video because this is practical, everyday advice that will help you, okay? Now, if you want to waste your life, okay, go online and talk about politics or living cheap, taking a challenge about doing nothing, okay?
I'm trying to talk about doing something with your life. And going to the gym is a good thing. Or just doing something, because this could apply. You could be in your house, you don't even go to the gym, you're a lazy sloth. But you may look at the mirror and say, damn, I'm old and ugly. And you may be, but focus on a positive. At least you're not in assisted living, okay? And if you are in assisted living, how the hell you get that free Wi-Fi? How you watching me? Damn it. You scamming the system, okay? Let's stay positive. I'll see you next video. Mm-hmm.